G'day everyone and welcome to my art channel Brushes with Beck. Uh, in today's video I'm going to be drawing a bird known as a rainbow bee eater which is native to Australia. Today I am using Canson Matons paper, I am using the reverse fine grain side and uh, the pencils that I'm using are the Faber-Castell Polychromos colour pencils. And I'm using a range of about um, 15 colours or just under 15 colours I think. So starting with the head with this little one, I'm not being very detailed. I wanted to um, try to experiment a little bit more in between my very detailed pieces with some more, a bit of a looser style. And I find that the Matons is good for that because um, it can be hard to get a lot of fine detail on this paper sometimes when you've got a small subject like this. So I'm trying to experiment with having a realistic looking bird without needing to add a lot of detail. So that's really focusing on colours and values. So the brights and the shadows and making sure that my colours are accurate and reflect my reference photo well. So as you can see, moving through this piece pretty quickly, I did this in around about an hour, I think, although I didn't quite finish it. I didn't do the, the feet and the perch that the bird is sitting on. But in terms of the bird itself, it took me just over an hour to complete this. So it was a really good, I find these sort of pieces quite a good challenge, a good practice. Um, and they helped me to, I suppose, help me look at colors and values quite a bit more because I'm focusing on that more than having to focus on every single little detail that is present on this bird. So with Canson Matons paper, you can't apply too much pressure too quickly because you will flatten the grain of the paper. Unlike pastel mat where you can layer and layer and layer, uh, Canson Matons sort of is a bit more limited in that way. If you apply very light pressure, you can add heaps of layers, but the moment you start adding a bit of pressure, you lose a lot of the paper's ability to take more color. So be mindful of that if you are using Canson Matons. I do like the range of colors that it comes in. I find that it's a paper that I can work quickly on for pieces like this, which I like. And that's why I still enjoy using it, even though it has uh, a more limited versatility than say the Claire Fontaine pastel mat does. So just working through this piece and making sure that my drawing is accurate to the um, not so much the, the the details as in the feather texture but the details of the of the wing the feather placement of the wing because those overlapping feathers on the outside of the wing are quite important to have an accurate looking bird so I'm trying to make sure I get that right and then focus on the uh, the lights and shadows and making sure that's accurate afterwards. So these little birds are fantastic little birds. They're the only bee eater species we have in Australia and they are just magnificent to watch. In my area they are only seasonal migrants so they come down here to breed once it warms up for the summer. So they're out and about at the moment in certain places and they're absolutely fantastic to watch. They are aerial hunters hunting insects like bees and dragonflies and that sort of thing. So absolutely stunning little birds. Uh, this is one of my reference photos. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that yet. So just working through this piece uh, quickly, but also carefully, as I said, trying to make sure I get those values accurate and making sure that I keep a sharp pencil in those more important areas, such as around the eye there to make sure I don't um, mark that incorrectly and to make it easier to get a solid layer of color down. So as I said earlier, Cancer Matons is a bit more limited with the, its layering ability and I did struggle with that a little bit on the underside of the tail here when I was trying to add in a little bit more of the blue rather than the green blue. But uh, if you layer up gradually and are very careful with that, you can get some extremely pleasing results on this paper like I did with this little bee eater. And it came out really, really nicely. Like I said, I still need to work on that branch and perhaps I'll make that another video. I'm not really sure if I will or not because this piece wasn't meant to be super detailed. So there might not be much in 
uh, a video about just the branch itself. So overall, like I said, there's not a lot of detail in this piece. It's very, very limited, but it still looks, appears realistic because I've got those colors accurate and the values are accurate, which really makes a huge, huge difference. And the rest of it is mostly just a smooth blending of colors into each other with a little bit of texture here and there to give the impression of feathers. So it's a very simple, very quick little technique, but it is very, very valuable, I find, to do these practice pieces. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again next week for another video. Stay creative.